Welcome to my channel, Always Beautiful. This is Kiara back again. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Yes, I did as well. So today I'm back again with a brand new and healthy recipe, which is actually really very tangy, very exciting and quick as well. So um, the main hero of the recipe is dried green peas. Now, why I've used dried green peas? Because it has got really, really nice proteins in it. So if you are a person who really likes to eat something which is like a, a, you know, snack, you want to snack on something and you are feeling the craving of eating street foods. So without going outside and, you know, eating the street foods, which has got a lot of pollution and dirt. Uh, if you're a health freak person or a finicky person like me, because I really think that if you're eating, eating, you know, eating outside and there's a lot of dirt which is mixed in the food, so that's not always hygienic. But yes, if you can do the same thing in the in your own kitchen, and you can actually do it in the comfort of your home, so why not do it? So that's why I'm using this green dried peas, which is soaked overnight about 200 grams of uh, this green peas that I'm using. You, if you want, you can use the white dried peas as well and soak it overnight. The next thing that I'm using is uh, potatoes. So it's like one potato, two potatoes actually sliced in two halves. So it's the size that I'm using, two halves of it. So this is two halves, okay, medium sized. Okay, then what do we have is we have red chili powder. Red chili powder, yeah, this looks really nice. Then we have turmeric. Then we have coriander and um, jeera powder mix. So this is coriander and jeera powder mix. Okay, then we have the hero of the dish, which is the tamarind juice, because this is... This will make it like the street, you know, it will make it taste like the street uh, food that we eat. Little sour, little tangy. But the catch here is I have used two kinds of tamarinds. One is a black tamarind, which is called the mulberry tamarind, or we call it Garcinia Cambogia, and the normal tamarind that we use to have the sour effect. So... I'll tell you something, the Garcinia Cambogia or the mulberry tam you know, tamarind that we use, it has got a lot of health benefits because it actually helps you lose weight, you know, if you use it on a regular basis. You can, you know, just soak it overnight in water and you can just drink that water in the morning. You will have a fantastic glow on your face, plus you will be losing weight, you know, all the stubborn fat from your belly area, especially. And uh, that's just, that was just a tip. So I have got some chopped tomatoes. I've got some chopped onions, green chilies chopped. And I've got some coriander chopped. I've got some gar garlic uh, cloves. I've got black pepper powder. I have got salt to taste. And I have got aspartate. So this is, you can, it's like hing that we have. And the best part of this recipe is that this recipe is actually cooked without oil without oil yes quote me on that without oil so it's actually boiled food but it's very very tasty and it gives you the feel of street food and one uh, you know thing that i can tell you i am using the potato to make it a little thick and little uh, you know like little mushy mushy types but if you want you can avoid the potatoes and you can use any other vegetable that you feel is nice so you can either use like um, carrots maybe you can put in carrots because carrots also has the same binding effect that it has to make it more healthy however carrot also has a little bit of sweetening effect so that's why i'm not using the carrot but then if you want you can use it because any which way you we are trying we are using the tamarind uh, juice here which will actually give it a tangy flavor to it Okay, and uh, last but not the least, the main hero of this dish is this spice. This is the spice that people um, you know, on the streets use to make it really, really yum, smell good and actually give you the feel of ragra that you're eating. So that's ragra that, you, that we call it everywhere in India. It's a local street food, but yet very, very yummy. So this is actually made of uh, five dried... Uh, and roasted uh, spices 
So there are five ingredients, I'm sorry, six ingredients in fact. So this is a secret recipe that I'm, I got it from my mother. But don't worry, I will also make another video to show you guys how to make this particular um, spice which will actually give you the feel of street food without you going outside and you can eat it at the comfort of your home so this is really a nice very nice spice to have this actually goes in at the last portion of your dish this is for decoration okay so great all right so for this we need a pressure cooker so i'm using this one okay so let's switch on the gas All right, the gas is switched on. Now we are gonna put in the boil, uh, sorry, uh, the overnight soaked green peas that I've kept it here. Okay, so now I've put in the dried green peas that were soaked overnight with water. Now I'm gonna add the spices to it. So first what goes in is the garlic cloves. You can put it like that because any which way you're gonna boil it then you need to put in the black pepper powder okay then you put in the salt and the asafoetid so you just need to put in all the ingredients okay now you need to put in the potatoes in goes the potatoes okay now need to put in a little bit of chili powder a little bit of turmeric powder and a little bit of dhania jeera powder okay if you want you can you know use food color but I am not using food color because any which way I am using a Kashmiri uh, lal mirch which actually gives you that color. But if you want it to look like an orange color that you get it on the streets, you can always add uh, the food color to it. So now what we are going to do is we are going to put it on pressure cook for a good about like 3 to 4 whistles till the time it's there so that it's boiled. And once we get the boil and we get the whistles up for like two to three whistles we'll come back again and we'll check how it is all right so i think it's all like about good 15 to 20 minutes of pressure cooking like about five to ten cities and uh, once this pressure cook cities are done um, i put it on simmer for another five minutes and then finally i closed it so the vapor remains inside this pressure cooker so now we're gonna open this lid and check this wow this is so yummy this is so delicious it smells delicious okay so now what we are gonna do is we are gonna do the plating of this particular um, dish so for the plating we need to take a nice and beautiful plate like this Okay, so this kind of a plate that we are taking. So this is the plate that we will be using for this plating. Okay, so I'll just put in some of this ragra. Okay. And, okay. So like this, you need to put in the ragra in here, uh, this particular, and you need to mash the potatoes like this okay this is this itself looks yummy however once i do the decoration it would look further more yummy now it's time for the stammerin juice to make it more sour okay put in like two tablespoons if you're a person who likes to you know, have more of tanginess to your food you can always add it or like me i like too much of tanginess that's too much then i'll add a little bit of rock salt to it okay 
Okay, then I'll add this chopped onions that we started the video with. Some finely chopped onions, some tomatoes. some green chilies mmm it's smelling yum you know the smell of the garlic the smell of the acetate you know some if you want you can um, add here some more you know like haldiram bhajiyas that you get you can put in that as well to make it more yummy but i prefer not to use those because those are really really not very healthy but yeah once in a while if you are in a mood to actually do the cheat you can always go ahead and do that so now it's the final hero so this is the spice that i'm gonna make it just gonna drizzle it around like that oh my god it's like yummy and you need to just flatter it and this is you can use this as a snack for your evening and if you are really a person who likes to eat something which is really tangy like me and see the color it's popping up so nicely if you want you can add a little bit of curd on it as well if you don't that's absolutely fine you can eat it like this um this is really really nice it goes well with mocktails as well if you want to have a mocktail party and you've got a friends invited this is a healthy recipe without oil recipe and the spices will do its wonders and you are also not putting on weight because i have put in the garcinia cambogia which will help you to cut down on your belly fat so if you like my video if you like this recipe please give me a thumbs up and also you can subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos that i will be uploading so you can always be in touch and if you guys have any suggestions or any anything that you want to know you can always um, leave your comments till then live healthy and eat healthy and always stay beautiful ta-da